Field Marshal Montgomery paid a special visit to a Royal Engineer Company in Italy to open the Bailey Bridge they had built across the River Sangra. First used in Tunisia, this prefabricated bridge proved its invaluable qualities in the Allied advance through Sicily and Italy. The secret of its success is in its design, the work of a team of experts of the experimental bridging establishment of the Ministry of Supply. The design was carried out by Mr. D.C. Bailey and two regular officers of the Royal Engineer. Mr. Bailey. Military bridges must possess all the essentials of civil bridges and have a number of other attributes as well. For instance, the components must be simple, easy to transport in lorries, easy to handle and erect, and all parts of a similar cane must be interchangeable. Another point, every bridge site is different and therefore presents a different engineering problem. Therefore the components must be able to be used in long spans or short spans and to carry heavy loads or light loads. In its simplest form, the Bailey Bridge of eight main components are joined together to form a bay 10 feet long, 5 feet high, by about 13 feet in width. Suppose these two books represent a gap which has got to be bridged, and each of these match boxes a bay of the bridge. The bays are assembled together on the bank to form a bridge of sufficient length to span the gap which has got to be crossed. Like this. Then the bridge is pushed forward by the sappers on its rollers until it reaches the far bank, like this. Now there are two snags about this. The first is that when it was halfway over, it could fall into the gap so. Now, this is how we overcome that one. And empty the matches out of these three boxes. And they, being lighter, will represent bays of the bridge built in the lightest possible manner. That is, omitting non-essentials, such as decking and the like. They are attached to the head of the bridge. Now, see what happens. The bridge has reached the far side without tipping up. Here comes a second snag. Due to its natural sag, the bridge has snubbed itself against the far bank and can't be pushed forward anymore. This is how we overcome that one. A loose link is inserted at the bottom where the nose joins the remainder of the bridge. The bridge can now be pushed forward until it reaches the rollers which have been provided on the far bank to receive it and the bridge can go over to its final position. The nose is dismantled. And the bridge is complete. It takes perfect teamwork as well as perfect design to build a bridge like this. To ensure this, all officer cadets of the Royal Engineers must pass through a practical course of Bailey Bridge construction before they join their unit. The components are brought to the site in Royal Army Service Corps Lorry. While the different components arrive in the order in which they will be required, digging parties are detailed to level the ground on either side of the gap. Six men can handle even the heaviest components. The panels which pin together form the main girders of the bridge, or the transoms which form the foundation of the roadway. Stringers are placed across the transoms to support the timber decking. And sway braces used to brace the panels laterally. The smaller parts are the rollers on which the bridge is moved forward during construction. Rocking rollers to tip it on the opposite bank. Bracing frames, Transom clamps, ribbon bolts, 
and pins for joining the panel. On each bank, the digging parties place in position a gridage of timber box to spread the weight of the bridge over as large an area as possible. Wooden templates are put on top of this gridage. And the rollers brought up. Two are placed on the gridage at each side of the gap and aligned so that the bridge will ride evenly on them. Then the main construction of the bridge begins. Pinmen put links behind the first panel. Second panel's up. Top pin in. Bottom pin in. After the first panels are in position on the rocking rollers, new bays can be assembled very quickly. It's simply a question of building a sufficient number of bays all exactly alike to fill the gap. Because all parts are interchangeable, each bay can be built in a few minutes. Transom in. Transom clamps on. Way brace in. As the new bays are added, the whole bridge is moved forward so that it remains near the point of balance on the rocking roller. Right together, he. The skeleton nose reaches the opposite bank. And again, so he. The skeleton nose is dropped onto the rollers and the whole bridge is moved forward into its final position. Skeleton nose is dismantled. Then the whole bridge is raised on jacks to allow the rollers at each end to be removed. Now the bridge is lowered into position on the base plate. Aircraft, action. On active service, bridging parties are often under fire from guns, mortars, or aircraft. Dummy attacks by Spitfires accustom them to this during training. In practice, the men take cover. In action, they may have to continue building however severe the attack. Stringers up. As soon as the stringers are in position, the chesses or timber decking is laid down and the bridge is complete. Bailey bridges carried our advancing armies over the Ebro, the Volturno, the Sangro, and many other rivers in Italy, over the Orne and the Seine, and many more in France. Every new advance makes a new demand on the sappers for bridges. In the Bailey Bridge, they have found the answer. The interchangeability of its parts makes its construction comparatively simple. Whatever the extent of enemy demolitions, whatever the difficulties of the site, there is a variation of the bridge to fill the gap. It can be built up two or three stories high to carry the heaviest load. It can be used on pontoons, the same basic components being combined in a different way. It can be built as a raft, and again the same components are used. A river is no longer a barrier which can give the enemy a breathing space to halt his retreat and reform his broken division. 
the tide of Allied victory moves on over the Bailey Bridge. Quickly built, easily handled, brilliantly designed, the only military bridge evolved in this war that fulfills all the demands of modern mechanized armies. 